Hello out there again, YouTube. John here. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick video on my half price books pickups from the other day. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you guys for the comments. You know, it's been good doing these videos. I'm going to keep trying to do more. Uh, big thanks to Culture Dog Sam Hatch, Egon Spangler, and CAV or Bust. Appreciate your comments, guys. I'm going to keep it going for you. So before we get started, I'd like to tell you guys a little story about this half price books excursion that I took the other day. Uh, I was on the Laser Just Forever Facebook page, and I noticed that somebody had gone to my regular Half Price Books hangout and found some movies, per se. Well, he puts a picture of one up, and I'm like, oh my god, this wasn't here the last time I was there. And I'm thinking, oh great, I'm about to lose it. But turns out, he didn't buy it. He only bought like a handful of titles. And there were really nothing to brag home about. But everything that you see here is going to be what he passed up on, and you're going to be like... Why would you pass up on this stuff? So with that, you know, let's just get it going. Let's see. All right, first movie up, The Flash. This is the old TV pilot. I've never actually seen it, but I remember that I wanted to get it. I'm like, okay, this is actually pretty cool. So it's like, dude, why would you pass up on this? This is actually pretty awesome. Not too bad for three bucks. Next up, stay tuned. One of my favorite movies from the 90s. I love John Ritter. Sad that he's gone, but this is probably one of the funniest movies that he ever did outside of the Problem Child series. Uh, picked this one up, same thing, three bucks. Couldn't believe this was passed up on, but again, eh, different strokes for different folks, I guess. All right, next up, one of the worst movies ever made, Highlander 2 The Quickening. This is the original theatrical cut. This is not the Renegade version or the new Restoration. I am glad to have this one because I finally get to see, see it in all its crappy glory. So, there we go. Next up, Johnny Handsome. Good little movie, one of the little hidden gems in Walter Hill's filmography. I've always liked it. Morgan Freeman gives good performance. Hell, everybody gives good performances. Pretty good movie. Need to pick it up on Blu-ray, but had to have it on Laserdisc, so there we go. Next up, we got some universal horror for you guys. We got Man of a Thousand Faces, the story of Lon Chaney. Never actually seen these. Actually, the next couple movies coming up I've never seen, but I just picked them up because they're universal horror. Man of a Thousand Faces, story of Lon Chaney. Next up... House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula. Never seen this one either. Can't tell you too much about it, but for three bucks, had to buy it. Next up, Brides of Dracula. Again, never seen it. Three bucks, had to pick it up. And next one, Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Never seen this one. Don May, if you're watching the video, good job, man. All right, next up, we got some late releases here. Found this one, 20th Anniversary Edition of Greece. Very awesome. Widescreen THX AC3 track. Good to have this one. All right, next up. I couldn't believe I found this one either. Devil's Advocate. I, this is one of the ones I saw it on the shelf. I'm like, dude, why would you pass this up? This is just a great freaking movie. Okay, enough said. I'm not going any more to it. Anybody out there who's watched this movie, you know it's awesome. Anyway, next up. Another late release from my favorite director of all time, Jackie Brown. And then, of course, Quentin Tarantino, another late release. But then, the last one. This is going to be like, seriously, you passed on this. Okay? Let's get it going. Freaking V. I absolutely had no idea that this was ever on Laserdisc. This was just a great sci-fi miniseries. I actually saw it growing up. My mom showed it to me a few times. I had it on DVD. I really don't have it on DVD anymore. It's just, I've seen it so many times. But then I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, it's on Laserdisc, I gotta freaking have it. And then I'm like, okay, so, why have I never heard of this? Well, it turns out, you look at the date down there, if I can get it, zoom in on it. Sorry guys, using a camera phone here. 1999. I checked up on this one. This is actually a late, late pressing there is actually no cover art for this one on Laserdisc database, so I'm going to take a picture and give it to them. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for the uh, thanks for the comments and everything. Hope to see you guys again. Talk to you later. Bye bye.